Continuing on with our series of presentations which are designed to show you what the implementation of Riverbed's WAN accelerator technology into your existing network can do for remote users and consultants who are trying to access Revit models, CAD files, or any other types of files across existing connections as they are today. So for this presentation, I've got a new Revit model to use. It is approximately a 112 megabyte model, and I'm going to be this remote user here. I'm a consultant. I'm going to go across a, a VPN connection and access the model from uh, another domain's server, and in front of that server is a large steelhead appliance. Now I've got a business class cable connection here which I'm establishing my VPN connection to the server. The steelhead in front of the server is a model 1050H so it is supporting 20 megabits of bandwidth being optimized as I'm opening this Revit model. So let's jump in here to Revit. I'm gonna go file open and I will time this for you and I'm gonna go again across domains into my folder and grab my model here and I'll show you how big it is. Uh, there we go, the size of it, 112 meg. So just cancel that and let's go ahead and open this across that VPN connection. And hit the button, there we go. So this is a model that I have opened before, so I'm getting the benefit of being, it being warm. The point I like to make here is we make no changes to how your users are using the applications today. In this case, it's uh, Autodesk Revit Architecture 2013. I click on the file, I hit open, it knows it's a central file, it recreates that local working copy for me. Uh, so we take your existing LAN-based workflow and we just extend that out to your WAN users. When I'm done with this model, I'll open the same model but from a local server and you'll be able to see exactly what we mean when we say near LAN speed. We'll be able to quantify that for you. So the model's here, it's just redrawing and that was a total of 47 seconds to open that model across the VPN. I'll zoom in here a little bit for you just to give you a little bit better look at this model. And then even though I've made no changes, uh, just for the sake of timing, uh, let's go ahead and synchronize with our central file because Revit does require a certain amount of time just to do that comparison, whether you've made any changes to it or not. And this way you'll be able to see, I'll do the same thing when I open it from a local server. So you'll be able to see that. So it was 47 seconds to open this across that VPN and we should be in the neighborhood of 20 to 22 seconds, uh, 21 seconds to synchronize with our central file. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now, save the project, and then let's go and open this model from a local server which is physically about two feet away. I don't recall if I mentioned uh, before the server I just downloaded that model from uh, is approximately 90 miles away from where I am today. So we're opening it now from the local server. Again, no change in workflow and the time we have in comparison was 47 seconds to open that across the VPN connection. So now we're simulating your LAN users accessing the model from their local server and we are approaching 20 seconds and we're nearly complete now and done 36 seconds so a difference of 11 seconds between opening it from a local server versus opening it across a WAN connection uh, just for comparison's sake, let's go ahead and sync our model with the central file here on the local server. This took 21 seconds to do before over the WAN or VPN in my case. And we'll get a comparison here and that was about 11 seconds to sync. So I hope this quantifies for you with a little bit larger file 
uh, in this case a 112 meg Revit model uh, to where you are able to, to quantify the difference between opening it local versus opening it across the VPN. And again, the point that I stress here, I'm using my Revit software, I'm using my Revit license, I make no changes to how your users are using the application at all. In this case, it's Revit. We're simply accessing the model across a VPN connection from a centralized server, and we're getting what we call near land speed uh, access to that that model or that file. So with that, here is my contact information. We do have a proof of concept program available. If you'd like to see this on your own network, obviously this is a demo. It, it is a live demo, but a demo nonetheless. Seeing it on your own network uh, really is the proof that you'll need and we can accommodate that request. Please feel free to give me a call or an email and we'll, we'll get you started. Thank you.